Hey everybody, welcome to Collins Creatures. Today I would like to introduce Emperor Palpatine, my Emperor Scorpion. Your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side. The scientific name for the Emperor Scorpion is Pandinus Imperator, and they are from the rainforests of West Africa from countries such as Cameroon, Guinea, Togo, Ghana, as well as many others. There are several related species to the Pandinus Imperator, and that is Pandinus Dictator, or the Dictator Scorpion, which actually gets a little bit larger and is much more aggressive than the Emperor Scorpions. There are the Pandinus Viatoris, or the Cave Clawed Scorpion, which are known for their red claws, and the Pandinus Cavimanus, or the Tanzanian Red Clawed Scorpion, which is obviously from Tanzania and has very large red claws. And they're, and they're also commonly confused for a completely unrelated species known as the Asian Forest Scorpion. And since Emperor Scorpions are highly sought after because they are quite docile and get very big, they are, many people will sometimes mislabel um, the others as Emperor Scorpions, especially the Asian Forest Scorpion. So in the video, some, in, not in the video, in the future, I will do a video on how to tell the difference between an Emperor Scorpion and an Asian Forest Scorpion. So you don't get blinded by the dark side. Now I'm going to talk about their physical characteristics, and for that I'm going to put Palpatine in his enclosure so we can sit so we can sit still. Emperor scorpions are a very large kind of scorpion, getting seven inches from pedipalp to stinger, with the females getting larger than the males. But unlike many people think, the Emperor Scorpion is not the largest species. That title goes to the giant forest scorpion of Asia. And even in the Pandinus genus, the, <laughs> the Dictator Scorpion actually gets bigger. Emperor Scorpions are defined by their red stinger. Actually, no, this is not a stinger. This is something called the Telson. The stinger is on the end of it. And on the babies, their telson is white. And the telson is on the very last part of the tail, which isn't actually a tail. That is something called the metasoma. They're also known for their large reddish hued claws, which are not really claws. They are something called pedipalps. They are, which have lots of hair and bumps on them. And they also have their, their classic black coloration. I keep Palpatine in a small invertebrate keeper with a substrate of coconut fiber and moss that I keep very moist because they live in the rainforest and it also is bioactive. And then I have this piece of natural cork, of course a water dish, and this false half log that he really likes to go inside of. As you saw, I was holding Palpatine for quite a while and while he was active, like he is now, he was not being defensive in any way. And that shows that their behavior is very mild-mannered, and they are not defensive and are very unlikely to sting. But if you were, but there was an event that and resulted in you getting stung, most people describe it as similar to that of a bee sting. Like I said earlier, I will be doing a video on how to tell the difference between an Asian Forest Scorpion and an Emperor Scorpion, but until then, that is Palpatine, my Emperor Scorpion. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see next time on Collins Creatures. Young fool. Only now, at the end, do you understand.